Jinro did not attack or did not get aggressive. And now that the Ravens are no longer in play, uh, the army for White Raw is able to move out and maybe do some damage. We've got a single siege tank here trying to rain some fiery death down on the assimilator and gold mineral patches. But it looks like he's going to drop four zealots off and make quick work of this tank. So that is going to die. Jinro did fly that uh, command center off uh, to the 5 o'clock, uh, well, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, whichever you want to call it, uh, island expansion, and he is morphing it into an orbital command. So Jinro working off three bases, as this one is mined out. All these SCVs, 16 SCVs doing nothing. Needs to transfer those ASAP. And White Raw working off one two three four five bases this one's not saturated yet and there is four hellions in here it may have been saturated but he may have killed them and ooh very nice use of uh, uh feedback on this medevac but it was just not enough to kill it as he didn't have quite enough energy so the hellions unload and the medevac retreats and uh, these two Stalkers should be able to take out these four Hellions. Of course, Hellions do not do a lot of damage against Stalkers. But all the while attacking these Stalkers, they were taking out probes as well. Jinro here looking to do some kind of old school Terran push. And we've got a bunch more Hellions now uh, assaulting this 6 o'clock position. And as I was saying with the old school push, missile turrets and bunkers and siege tanks being uh, pushed into the map. And oh, what do we got up here? We've got, oh, sorry I missed this one, guys. We've got uh, some forces of White Raw. We've got an Archon, a couple Zealots, and there was a High Templar here as well, uh, being used or utilizing this warp prism and warping in those units. But uh, Jinro was able to bring up his siege tanks and combat that. More forces of White Raws being pushed down. Psystorm going down on these siege tanks. Unfortunately, Psystorm is not very effective against tanks, and it probably did more damage to his Zealots than the tanks. Void Ray out on the field, now getting taken out. And at this time, we do see Dark Templar cleaning up the rest of this assault of Jinro's on White Raw's 6 o'clock base. At the same time, White Raw's pushing in on this planetary fortress. Unfortunately, even with three Immortals and two Stalkers, they are not going to be able to take down this planetary fortress, especially with all these SCVs repairing. And SCVs even trying to repair these Hellions and fend off this attack as, fa as much as possible so that he can bring some reinforcements in. And it looks like these uh, Marines are caught up here. Now the Hellions are caught up. None of these units were attacking there for a short minute. And we've got more tanks funneling down his ramp. And we've got another Warp Prism bringing in, uh, looks like six or eight more Zealots, nine more Zealots into uh, the deep area of Jinro's main base. Uh, tanks here able to clean that up fairly quickly, but not before losing a lot of Ooh, bad choice there sieging those up of, as of course they cannot attack the ones close to them and that actually oh no it did not I thought it may cause uh, Jinro to actually lose that battle but he didn't so he was able to for or to fend this off of course with the planetary fortress and uh, factory coming out here to oh and I wasn't watching the uh, production tab hopefully you guys were and we do see a mothership now on the field and he does have enough energy for mass recall. That's probably what we're going to see. We have a missile turret here. He sees the missile turret and cho chooses to move back. And at the same time, uh, Liquid Jinro trying to take this 6 o'clock natural expansion. Uh, but the white Protoss White Raw is able to fend it off with a bunch of zealots. And all these probes going to die a miserable siege tank death. Uh, while this Void Ray tries to take out the siege tank. So lots of action going on in this game. I have to admit, this is fairly epic so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. White Raw bringing in a bunch of more units here. This looks to be what he's going to be doing. He's probably going to move the uh, mothership somewhere in the middle of this base where there isn't a turret and do a mass recall. You see, he is bunching up the units here, warping in more. He's probably going to bunch them up even more, and the, the mothership is now moving in. And are we going to see it? Come on, yes, I do not, yes, mass recall, we don't see this very often, and it's going to cause me to lose a little bit of FPS right now just because of all the units transferring, but uh, all these units are cloaked, we've got, oh, seven high Templar, um, 12 zealots, and of course three stalkers with this mothership, this is going to clean up most of this base. Unfortunately, Jinro's forces are all out of place, he's got uh, a few 
Vikings, but these Stalkers should be able to focus down the Vikings so that the Mothership can stay alive and keep his units cloaked. Mothership needs to move a little bit more into position to keep these Zealots cloaked. Um, White Raw is baiting the Terran player, but the Terran or Jinro is not going to fall for it. Psy Storms galore going down all over these Siege Tanks, but as I said before, they're just not that effective on the Siege Tanks at all. They're more utilized uh, to combat the MMM ball. But, of course, Jinro is not playing that style. He is going for the Viking Siege Tank and Hellion Army, and with Marines, of course, as well. Uh, this mothership is going to go down to the Viking Fire, and uh, he does have enough energy for a mass recall, but he didn't use it again. He just didn't have the force for it. And it looks like Zealots are cleaning up this expansion here, morphing it into... Uh, another planetary fortress. If this planetary fortress gets up and enough, enough SCVs can get here and able to or to repair it, they may be able to hold it off. But unfortunately for him, there are six void rays, and uh, we are now getting the uh, the flux veins. I believe it is just about finishing. Yes, flux veins for the uh, void rays, enabling them to attack much faster and move a lot faster. Uh, siege tanks are getting cleaned up. High Templar and Zealot still available, and Jinro is going to GG out. So, very epic game, lots of action. I know I probably missed a few things, but hey, when you have guys playing with an average of uh, 110, 120 APM on such a big four-player map, it's, uh, it's really easy to miss a few things. Anyways, uh, yes... White Rod does take this first game, one to nothing now in the series. The next game will be on Steps of War, and I will bring that to you right away. Thanks for watching.